you're balancing a lot because you gotta uh you gotta I got a princess still with the baby mama too, and yeah? still with Danny, dude. Yeah. Danny, talk, uh, talk about that. For yeah, a second. we've talk been about that, that relationship. We've been together since I was 20, 20, 21. The first conversation we ever had before we even like started kind of liking she she didn't like me right away. I liked her right away, but the first conversation we had was like, I don't, I don't. Uh, I don't see how someone can be with one girl the rest of their life. Like, I just can't, I don't see it. And I was talk, telling her, explaining this to her before we kind of were dating. So, dude, she knew what she was getting into before she got into it. Um, I've always been so curious about that's that. That's why I asked it's you. A, it, it's, a, it's an open relationship. We're in an open relationship, and I don't even want to call it that. I don't want to call it any label. Like, we choose. Yeah. I choose to. I sleep with her every night in the same bed with, with Elena. Like, I choose to do that because I want to. You know, I don't I don't like the the... I don't like the how relationships are nowadays. It's like I own you, you own them. I hate that. I, I just can't stand that. I don't want to be in that kind of relationship. I want to be free. I'm in Cleveland. Danny knows I'm in Cleveland. If a bad little mamacita want to hang out, or my aunt, I'm hanging out. <laughs> if she wants to straddle me, straddle me. But it's. I mean, it's. It's. You know, I love Danny. She's a fucking. We've been together pretty much my entire career. She knew me before I made money. She knew me before I was like three and zero as a pro. So you don't make money as a pro. Mm. You hardly fucking make money in the UFC. As I mean, a, a ton of money. But she's known know me before I made money. Before I was whatever. And uh, we had a really cool relationship. Um, she's awesome. She does my hair. She's the fucking best, yeah, dude. Yeah. Like, if I lost her, I would be f- screwed. Like, and I don't That's even That's awesome. Like, you, you find yourself a rock and it's 100%. nice. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very envious. A, a yeah. rock that by the way doesn't hold you down. I know. Well, it's awesome. Yeah, and I mean it's not easy for her either. Like cuz I'm I'm on this podcast talking about it and then people look at her like, "Oh, she's stupid. Like what are you doing?" Stuff like like that's how she gets perceived sometimes like, "Oh, she he's using you or whatever." But dude, if you asked her like, "Does Sean treat you good?" Does Sean do you guys have great sex? Do you guys cuddle at night? Do you guys does he make you coffee every morning? Does he provide every, like I'm a good, I'm a good partner in the relationship. If an, if I hang out with a girl at a club, if I'm dancing with a girl, like I get comments and shit all the time, like dude, what are you doing? You have a girl and a baby at home. I'm like, yeah, I know they're back home. I know that. I'm not fucking stupid. I'm gonna I'm enjoying myself doing whatever. I'm gonna you know be safe. I'm gonna go back home to to my family. And it's just re- it's a weird relationship, especially nowadays. I mean, actually, I actually think it's becoming more normalized it is, it a little is, bit. Yeah. Um, has it ever led to any like pretty pretty nasty? Blow-ups? Oh, is it 100%. a bit of a roller coaster? Yeah, like, yeah. but I do it every single time you like we have that down. The ups always better, and it comes down to communication in any kind of relationship, uh, boss to employer relationship, coach um, trainer relationship. We gotta have communication in every single relationship, and going through a relationship like that, you have to communicate, or it's not gonna fucking work. And I mean, we've had we've had our issues, obviously. Do do you have to? Because uh, we've had other guests on the show before that that have similar relationships, and they spoke about this system of uh, having to check in. Do you have to check in or have approvals on gr- on girls that you hook up with, or or is what what is taboo? If she ever found out that you were texting something like, "Yo, I have feelings for you," that's Ooh. that's done, right? Feelings like, are tough, okay. and that's happened. Yeah, like four years ago. In Vegas, and it happened. I had feelings for a girl. I fucked up. I crossed the line. It was my fault. But what was that? What was that line? I guess is the feelings. Yeah. Okay. Like the 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 after I I after I got on the plane and left. Hey. Uh, oh, like shit. it was my fault. I fucked up a hundred percent. We grew from that. She moved out actually at one point. She moved out, and you know we kept we kept talking and we we she moved back in and we made it work and um but I want to be free. I want her to be free. If she has a desire to do something that she wants to do. I don't want her to not do it because of, oh, it'll make me feel a certain way. I have my own emotions and I have to be in control of them. And so does she. If I go and hook up with a chick and it makes her feel a certain way, I mean, she's got to be in control of emotions and we got we to gotta communicate. And I think we're doing a really good job with that. And uh, I know I wish she was here so she could talk mm-hmm. to because I don't want to put words in her mouth. But, I mean, it's not easy for her sometimes, but it's fucking... I told her I have to be me. I have to be me. I can't pretend to be someone else. I can't. I got to be me. Communication is key, me. bro. Communication that, that sentence alone is like it is it has so much weight. Yeah. And, and if uh, she doesn't respect it, obviously, I'm, I'm not positive you'd be where you are in this relationship with her. Hundred <laughs> percent.